speaker and online at wygyradio.com. Mark in the morning on The Breakfast Club, and these Breakfast Club interviews are brought to you by Easy Rental of Lewiston. They make it easy, you make it happen. Visit easyrental.com. My guests in studio are Colt Bush and Chris Magoon from Citizens Magnet Fishing, and it is exactly what it sounds like. These guys go out to, to uh, lakes and ponds throughout Maine and try to clean them up, right? Yes. You're environmentalists is what you are. Yeah, right? basically. Yeah. And you were inspired uh, by a video you saw on YouTube of yeah. someone doing the same thing, and, and you said, I got to do this. Uh, me and my friend, actually, uh, Kim and Fox, we got together. We saw these videos, and we said, hey, we got to do this. Like, we both have, I have a 15-year-old daughter and a 13-year-old daughter, and then he has a 6-year-old daughter of 7. Mm -hmm. And we said, hey, we want to clean these waters up because... That generation that dirtied the water is not around no more, so we want to clean the waters up so we can help our generation and generations after us right. look at the waters and say, hey, you need to do something about it. Right. And you, you are self-funded, correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, have you considered reaching out for, for a grant or, or something from the Environmental Protection Agency or, or some organization I might be. like that? I might yeah. be. Um, I have heard people say that before. Um, I think it might help um, because I have so many people that want you to do it. Want me to do yeah. it? They, yeah. I just had a lady in Auburn uh, message me yesterday, and she wants to. Her and the kids want to stop magnet fishing. Mm -hmm. So um, it's always good. And my buddies get messages all the time from not just the United States, other countries. Yeah like Canada and stuff it's crazy I have I've purchased magnets before for yeah. I, I, I do some work in the garage and I've had to purchase magnets on occasion and they are not cheap no, no they're expensive no. my yeah. goodness uh, so magnets aren't the only thing you fish with you also throw grappling hooks in the water yes too. yes we do right. yeah. yeah what are some of the things you pulled out with grappling hooks um well my friend Roy he has a uh, main magnet fishing on YouTube he actually put a video up and he pulled a pair of shorts up and in the shorts was there there was a fish <laughs> there was a that fish was, in the shorts yeah it was pretty funny to see because it, it popped right out and like yeah. whoa a fish <laughs> so yeah. was that the first fish uh yeah that was the I mean, first it's fish. a magnet you, you, can't, magnet fishing history. you can't catch a yeah. fish with a magnet yeah you know? well that's what everybody asked me they say hey when you go they don't get magnet fishing they say hey i was gonna say fish aren't magnetizable yeah do you uh catch fish magnet fishing Huh, you did that. I'm day. like, no. <laughs> yeah. But then I could say my friend did. So, but the weirdest thing I've caught was actually it looked like um, grumpy bear, but it was all mangled up. Okay. With my grappling hook, it was just the weirdest thing. It looked like something from a like a little kid was really mad and ripped it up and just threw it in the water. And I'm like, oh, poor grumpy bear. Like, yeah. Like. When you were down in Westbrook, yeah, I always had people coming through, checking them out, you know, yeah. just watching them, and they yeah. were, like, amazed by it, yeah. you know? Well, I can see why. It's So when you have people call you, say somebody wants, like, their area in front of their camp cleaned up or something. Yeah. Do you charge for your services? No. Nothing. No. I mean, if they do want to put a donation, that's fine. Yeah. But the donation straight up goes right to getting more magnet kits, getting more uh, yeah. T-shirts out there. Put it back in the environment. T-shirts make. Mm -hmm. We... Uh, get more grappling hooks or that money will actually go to the diver to go underwater to find more stuff um, you also have divers yeah we have divers and um, they love doing it uh, diver went out the west what's her name just got her uh, diving license what's her name uh, Bridget Bridget just my got her Bridget diving license diver too. license but my friend Lou he went out and he actually found uh on the river of Westbrook, he found one side there was a bowling ball. You got to do it in Lewiston, though, Auburn area. And the <laughs> other side there was a bowling ball. <laughs> Must have been quite a game. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, but it was so weird because obviously I wouldn't even know they were there because uh, bowling balls are not mag. They're not mag. No, they're not. And you'll be lucky to get. A grappling hook stuck in there. Well, I think over time, I think over time when it's in that river water, it you know materializes and, yeah. it, and it's iron after that, so it can come up easily. He said there's so mm -hmm. much stuff down. There. Oh yeah, they probably it's had like layers and layers. He said there was stuff. cars in there. Oh my 
Suppose you there's a car in West Cliff. Yeah. We did pull up, my friend pulled up a drive shaft. You talking about, talking about the safe that you pulled up? Yeah. yeah. Uh, drive shaft. I pulled up, it uh, looked like a, to me it looked like a, um, the boot to a car. Yeah. But it was something else. Pulled up steering wheels. You pulled up a microwave one time. Yeah, microwave. Oh, Lawn mowers. Yeah. Scooters. So... A lot of bikes. A lot of bikes. That's, nice. that's what this you is want. fascinating. It is absolutely <laughs> fascinating. Can you guys hang out for one more? Yeah. yeah. Right, you, we'll boost the ratings for Cold it. Colton Chris <laughs> from Citizens Magnet Fishing. We'll have more on the way. Keep it here on WIGY. Make us some regulars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just...